Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Saturday like always. Today is such an exciting day, but it's also a little sad because I will be ending my Jan Jackson music video journey that I started all the way back in April. And I've been listening to a lot of Jan Jackson this year. I started my Jan Jackson music journey in December of last year. And I've been uploading Janet Jackson videos to my channel for the last 11 months. So it's been a lot of Janet Jackson. And today we'll be watching her final three music videos from the year 2015 to 2018, No Sleep, Damn Baby, and Made For Now from her Unbreakable era. Now, of course, this won't be the end of Janet Jackson's music videos because we all know she's releasing a Black Diamond hopefully next year, her next album. So hopefully she releases a couple music videos for that album, which I'm sure she will, I'm hoping. So I will reopen this series when she does that, but for now, this series is coming to a close. This is also the very first time on my channel that I have concluded a music video journey. I've concluded many discography journeys, listening to an artist's entire discography but I've never finished a music video journey, so this is pretty big for me. So you know what, let's just jump into the first music video of this video, which is No Sleep featuring J. Cole. I love this house. I can't get over how gorgeous this house is. Oh my god, he's duplicating. God, so many J. Coles. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was No Sleep, and I really enjoyed myself. It's not the most complex music video in the world. It's pretty standard, it's pretty ordinary, but it did keep me interested the entire time. She was moving around the house. Now let me say, I've said this already, but that house, I want. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's pretty simple. And then J. Cole was introduced, and then he started duplicating. So it was interesting. I did like it. I also loved the rain in the music video. I love the sound of rain. I love thunderstorms. I like the smell of rain, especially the day after. And there is that dewy smell in the air. It was just a very chill and relaxing music video. I also liked the candles all around the house. It really did set the mood. And once again, just like rain, I love candles. I love lighting candles. Don't judge me. I just, I don't know, I just love candles. Another one of my favorite parts of the music video was when she was walking up the stairs to the second floor and then she put on the 
fedora. I imagine it's a fedora. And she started busting some moves on the stairs and there was a spotlight on her. So I thought that was a really cool moment. And I also enjoyed the song, just like the music video. It's very chill and relaxing. So now let's move on to the second music video for Damn Baby. Ooh, I like that shot. Oh, I love that part so much. I literally just had an orgasm. <laughs> Alrighty, and that was a damn baby. And let me say, I love the song Damn Baby. It's one of my favorite songs from her Unbreakable album. This is a classic Janet Jackson music video. It was pure choreography. We've seen music videos like this from Janet before, very similar to what she was doing in the video. So she wasn't really um, navigating brand new territory with this music video. It wasn't the most creative but i still thought it was very interesting my favorite part of the music video was towards the middle where we see the gigantic wall with thousands of holes in it and lights are shining through and it looks like a sky of stars or something and it's absolutely beautiful to look at i will say though i feel like her last great music video was in 2008 with her feedback music video and all the music videos after that were kind of just subpar, in my opinion. I just wish some of her music videos post-feedback would have had a bit more creativity put into them. I loved Janet Jackson's Unbreakable album, and there was so much single potential still left on the album. So many great songs she could have released as a single and another music video. So if you could choose another song from her Unbreakable album to have a music video, which one would it be? And finally, here we are at the final Janet Jackson music video. After all these months, after all these videos I've uploaded in this series, we finally made it to the final Janet Jackson music video. For now. Made for now with Daddy Yankee. This is reminding me of, um, her Control era. Just the aesthetic and all the colors. Such a colorful music video. I love the outfits in this video. Now that's a look, wow. Is there going to be a dance-off?
Gorgeous. Yes, that was the creativity I was looking for when I said that I wish there was more creativity in her music videos after feedback and she served it and I loved everything about this video. I loved, first and foremost, I loved the fashion. The fashion was absolutely gorgeous and the colors and the location, the dancing, everything just worked so well together and this was taking me back to her control era, the 80s, and I loved it. I remember saying when I first listened to the song that I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I don't know what I was saying because the song has definitely grown on me, and I think it's a great song, it's catchy as hell, and I always really enjoy listening to it. It really is a bop. It says here that the music video was filmed in Brooklyn, New York City. I will also say that the fashion in this music video was very much African-inspired, and it was taking me back to her Together Again music video, which was filmed in Africa. So I think that's all I wanted to say on the three music videos. What did you think of them, and what are your impressions? So I think that's officially all I wanted to say. Now this is where I normally tell you the next Janet Jackson music videos I'll be watching in my next Janet video, but there are no more, so that's a wrap. Until she releases her Black Diamond album next year in 2021, here's hoping this series is officially done. Now, just because I'm done watching her music videos doesn't mean the Janet journey ends here because I will still be watching her concerts, her tours, next year in 2021. I don't know when I'll be starting that series, it won't be a routine series on this channel like her music video videos were. I was uploading a Janet video every two weeks, every second Saturday. I might do one every month or two. But for now, I do need to take a Janet Jackson break from this channel because it's a lot of Janet Jackson. I've been uploading Janet Jackson videos to this channel since December of last year, 2019. So. I think for now, it's time to step back from John Jackson for just a little bit. And who knows, maybe one day I'll do a video where I rank all her music videos, which is... It's a very daunting task. And let me just say that I thoroughly enjoy myself going on this John Jackson music video journey. She is the queen of choreography, and she is an amazing dancer. I don't need to tell you that. And the visuals, and also the storylines in some of her music videos were very touching to me. A lot of fun, and scandalous at times, rebellious, and sexy, oh my god, sexy. Jai Jackson, you have some amazingly sexy music videos and music, and they got me a little hot under the collar, let me say, but... Overall, I really, really enjoyed all her music videos. So what do you guys think of Jad Jackson's music videos as a whole? And which ones are your favorites? So officially, officially, I think that's all I needed to say. So thanks for watching, guys. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can message me, you can tell me other artists I should check out. I'm open to any artists from any decade. You can find me on Apple Music, you can check out my playlist, and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.